We got something new to do today that might involve one of these and the help from a friend. Today, we'll be going on an adventure. I have with me the guide of Young Waffle, the youngest of Waffs. He will be guiding me through this melee journey. And in return, I will be showing him the light of high level Balrog and Street Fighter V. We'll be uh, helping each other out, you know, some give and take here. And it'll be uh, the struggles of Brandon and Brian. He's going to be showing me a little bit of Melee. I'm going to be showing him a little bit of Street Fighter. You know, he's an aspiring Brog main, doing some work in the West Coast. So we're going to be trying out this Melee rollback netcode, as well as trying out some Street Fighter V. So that is the plan for today. And I think I'm stalled long enough. I need to get in this call. What's good? MTC people. How are you guys? Hold up. Are, are, am I sounding good on your end? Well, let me get. Can you say a few words for the people? I want to get these levels correct. Yo, what's up, uh, Street Fighter players? I'm, I'm going to try not to get mixed. If I do get mixed, I apologize for getting mixed. <laughs> well, you're lucky because uh, I think we're, we're doing melee first. So This is true. This is true. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be the one who has to redeem myself. Obviously, we, me, me and Brian are both uh, well versed in our respective games. You know, we've had history. We're both uh, incompetent in, in in the other games, for lack of a better word. This is a. Uh, I don't know, like a, a bridge, I should say, to, to connect the dots. You know, Brian's going to try to learn some melee. As you guys know, I've been playing Street Fighter, but I don't actually, like, know how to play it. I just be cheesing people online. So. You downplay yourself too much. <laughs> I well, do what's actually a fact is that I actually don't play <laughs> melee. That is 100% a fact. Um, yeah. I've been a long time viewer, <laughs> big fan of the community. I mean, I watch, I stream Monster Melee all the time, ever since, you know, uh, 2013 really creeped up on the radar with with evo i've been a fan of the community since then so i, I got slippy i mean this is the perfect opportunity right i mean melee yeah. now has better rollback than street fighter 5 so i got slippy because set up you know with with melee we're like actually starting from scratch so i have to i have to really like think about like fuck, how am i gonna teach you this shit because I'm, I'm not the greatest teacher so uh, I think this will help me into like helping other people how to learn the game too. I think it, it, it's a good way to show people, especially with rollback being a thing, like good ways to learn like simple stuff or or simple ways to learn good stuff. That's what right. I'm saying. That said, opinion. do you wanna do you wanna give this a go? And uh, so yeah, let's do it. I think what we're gonna do to start off is um, we're just gonna play a game. I, I want you to just play, <laughs> and I'll just play just normal. Okay, we'll just play normal. <laughs> And All let's right. see how it goes. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm down the clown. Let's do it. Here we Fox go. Better carry me. Holy <laughs> shit! Here we go. All right, let me know when you're ready. Uh, we're in. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. No. Oh God, I did something. <laughs> Fuck. I ain't shit. I shouldn't have picked more to start. <laughs> there we go. We got the, we got some percent. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> 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 Too low? Yeah, no. Shit. Okay. Oh, I hit you with the cheese. That was, that's cheese. Oh, oh wait. Oh, fuck. I thought I was going to recover way <laughs> sooner. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Well, oh. Uh, yeah, we're definitely, it's going to take some time, but Brian, I believe, I All believe right. that we could, uh, we could, we could make this work. Dude. We'll but make this work. I, I can't, I can't take four of your life bars in Street Fighter V that fast. I'll, I'll say that. That's impossible. <laughs> now, nah, melee is, is rough because movement's like half the battle. So if you can't like move, it's, it's hard to just even like play, let alone like out, like strategize me. Right. Right. I mean, you can't uh, strategize before you can run. You know what I mean? If you're right. playing a sport. <laughs> yeah. So I asked my stream this. What do you guys think I should teach Brian first? We, we got to help him out. Right. I'll know the Way most of the terms and stuff, but I won't know how to do anything physically. Okay. So a lot of people are saying short hop, dash dancing. I, I'm pretty sure you can dash dance. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, short hop back air. No, we're not. Let's, let's try short hopping first. There you go. You got some short hops. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm on the X button and I'm like sliding my finger off 
super fast to try to get this uh the short hop going how do you do it do you just press it or i'm doing this like sliding motion like slipping my thumb off the side of the x button but yeah i usually tab y really quickly once you get the hang of it then you can start drifting with your jumps but like you, you mean would... like once you're in the air then you uh move the analog stick like you don't you don't move yeah, until you, you jump right you should try to do this first just to see if you can and it's just as efficient wait um, a second am i cheating did i figure something out what do you do short hops with the c stick like short hop aerials you can, you can so if i had three it... hands this would be mad easy because i'm like reaching over with my left hand <laughs> To the you C could stick. like, uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people see stick. Like, I'll see stick back air sometimes. Okay, wait. So break that Drill. down. So how you're gonna do a short hop back air? How are you inputting that? Okay, so I use one with C stick. So I'm jumping. How are you right jumping? I, with Y, I use Y to jump. Some people claw their controller also, where they have like I know mm -hmm. Mango plays like that, where he has like two fingers on the shoulders yeah i'm feeling that right now like i'm kind of naturally gravitating yeah. to that because like if i use my index finger on the jump buttons that seems to make it easier to control the a i use my thumb not the tip of my finger but more like where where your nail is to press y and then the base of my thumb to press Ooh. A. so you're sandwiched in there with the tip of it yeah i guess so but in melee i really do think it's like whatever whatever fits for you right it's probably the best option as long as you can do it it kind of doesn't matter I'm because like people, people jump with Y, X, fucking tap jump. Like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure Hungry Box uses tap jump and like Z to do aerials. That's that's like different as hell. I know Mango doesn't have. I remember years ago, back in the day, he removed X from his controller, and I was like, why? He's like, I don't. He's like, I don't need an X button because I don't use it, and sometimes I accidentally press. I don't it. fuck so with just, X. Okay, yeah, that's crazy. So, so he just got rid of it altogether. <laughs> I think it will depend on what character you end up playing too. Like that'll right. that'll probably influence how comfortable you feel. I don't know if it's because I remember we were talking at first. You were saying Luigi. I don't know how you feel playing Fox. Fox I feel like Fox would be cool to just like go hard mode and learn the mechanics first. Mm -hmm. I just feel like that would be interesting. Um, Luigi, I like as a, like a meme character. I don't know. It's fucking yeah. hilarious watching him slide around the screen. So I'm a big Luigi, fan of Luigi though. players, but I think that's more of a fan of watching versus doing. I think just learning the Fox mechanics, he has so much mechanically going on. I feel yeah. like it would be interesting to just uh, at least dip my toes in the water to understand what people are doing. So how do you wave dash? Break down your uh, your input sequence for me. I use Y and R, because they're to me, they're just hella close. A lot of people use L to wave dash. They use L to L cancel. I use R to L cancel. You can use R to L cancel also. I like all my buttons just fucking like all clumped up. <laughs> so I, I just use R for pretty much everything. I learned this in like 2006, so there wasn't really resources <laughs> right. to, to show you this. Uh, but I would just do it like this, and then I would just keep going lower and lower and lower until I got it. I'm holding like down forward, holding down forward, pressing Y, and then quickly hitting the shield. Now, when you land after the wave dash, if you're just trying to move as fast as you can horizontally, what do you do? Uh, do you hold down forward the whole time and just keep doing it? That would depend on one, your character, who you're fighting against all that stuff i guess i would just run honestly with fox oh, runs faster I would just actually <laughs> run. his run is just faster but see Never like mind. with luigi like you were playing luigi you would have to wave dash across the screen right like, okay like, right crazy. you know and and other fighting is usually you can't run faster than you can wave dash that's why i was thinking that way but wave dash gives you more options right because you you build i know you like you get like momentum out of it so you can slide and then you can do stuff while moving forward because you're just sliding right yeah, the general sense, but it, I would say it also depends on who you're playing. There's certain characters that need wave dashing to like follow up on combos and stuff. But there's some that they don't. They can just jump or whatever. Stand like where I'm standing. So like this, this. So see, I would I would wave dash here over there, right? But like with Fox, if I did that, I would just run over there. But with Luigi, a lot of his follow-ups come off the wave dash. You can't play his character without wave dashing. Like his runs like. It's not bad. Two wave dashes will get you just as far. If you do shield too soon, will you just get a jump? Is that what happens? I think that might be happening to me too. Like I'm trying to understand like when I fuck up, like what did I fuck up, right? If you do it too fast, sometimes you're like clicking this before you even jump. 
Yeah, I think that's happening to me. Okay, yeah. that because I've been doing it really tight. Like I'm not getting many of these. You know what I mean? Like I'm not doing this when I fuck up. I'm always doing this when I fuck up. I use all of them in one. Holy shit! Yo, using L is way easier. What? Yeah. Then yeah. Then <laughs> you 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 have found you have found your way. You can what use L. Fuck? You can use R. You can fucking use D. <laughs> okay. Did I unlock something? All right. Are you left or right handed? I'm right handed. Okay, so most what I've learned with right handers, I'm left handed. Oh. I usually, yeah, most right handers, I, from what I've learned, they usually use L. This makes I, a lot of sense. Everything you're yeah, saying is yeah. like, you want to use Y and R for everything. I was kind of feeling like, man, X is natural. That kind of makes a lot of sense, actually. I was trying to practice a wave dash back to ledge grab. Is that... Mm -hmm. I, I'm literally just quoting that phrase as something I've heard because I've never done it. <laughs> no, no, that's a thing. That's like the one of the better ways to get an edge guard sometimes. Right. So you want to be facing like usually back and then uh, you'll wave dash and like you can just get yourself to snap on. Yeah. You can also roll up and uh, when you do this roll up, there's a window where this you can't grab this shit, even though like D Luigi's not on the stage. But mm -hmm. there's a frame, there's like a couple frames where like that's like ungrabbable, so you can kill people like that. I'll try to up B, and then you just like roll up on stage. Oh, uh, I did it too soon, I think, right? Wait, you hit L or R to roll up? Yeah. Ooh, oh, see, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when you're on the ledge, just hit, yeah, like that. So that rolls. Yeah. What and if I hit the. Get, oh, fuck. If you hit B or A, it's a get up attack. So like this move comes out. It's like a get right. off. Okay, so if you press direction, you just you don't move forward, and then the shield rolls yeah, you. Okay. Hold on, let, let's let's try to get practical tasks in here. Hello. Hey guys, how you doing? What's going on, man? Hey, practical. Yeah, you yeah. can break this down better than I can, cause I I just me and logic it just. Uh, <laughs> I just going back a couple minutes in my brain. Um, the thing about wave dashing is it's not a cancel. It's like uh, I think you call it a just frame in Street Fighter, where it's like it's a it's a frame perfect input. If you're late on the shield, then you do that aha aha, where you where you like see the character in the like falling animation or the air dodge animation. But if you're frame perfect with it, you just slide. Regardless of whether you're frame perfect or you're slow, once you touch the ground, you have 10 frames of uh, landing lag where you can't do anything. That's universal across the whole cast. And so a fast way for characters to move is they'll do it like a dash wave dash. So you do a very short press sideways and then jump and then go down to the diagonal. So, so a di uh, just to hard. interrupt, a dash is just like uh, when you hit the stick hard, hard press, right? Yeah, stick hard press on the stick crazy weird thing about melee is that it's analog right so right. if you don't go all the way down to the diagonal then you actually have a longer wave dash because your air dodge is more horizontal right that is so different like there's no yeah. translation yeah. of that to, there is, yeah. to yeah, any I, I traditional fighting game down, bro. there's no way i could have been able to do that but that's what makes this game so sick right because there's so much nuance in what you can do in this game because of all those different angles and every way you can hit it street fighter it's light medium or heavy you know what i mean like that's all you gotta do <laughs> fighting games in general they're hard because they're black and white and this is hard because it's just a gray area like yeah a lot of shit is like huge gray areas. I think a lot of melee players don't don't have to really understand the concept of plus frames. Obviously, there are melee players who are like study frame data, obviously practical in here. But like, I think the average melee player, they don't have to learn those concepts because like, this is probably negative, but like, I can just space it to where I'm not gonna get punished for it, you know? Right, like, right. Street Fighter V is even more so in that case because Street Fighter yeah. V is basically like a, a math exam and then you show up to the test <laughs> and if you don't know the answer, you're fucked, right? Where like, <laughs> melee is like, you know, uh, interpretive it's like dance. An English class. Other yeah. fighting games, you can do the same shit where you cancel stuff into other things like Marvel. Like nobody knows frame data in Marvel. Well, some <laughs> some nerds do, like hardcore people, right? But like right, right, right. you cancel everything into everything. So who cares if any move is negative thirty on block? Because you're always going to cancel into another like thirty other moves. That's why a lot of melee players, I think they they gravitate toward towards Marvel. Yeah, we're getting down what? close to the one hour. Is there one last mechanic that I should just like start learning about? I'd say L canceling. I I think that shit's pretty fucking important. I feel like wave dash and L cancel are like the two fundamental building blocks of movement in melee. Yeah, true. It's the, I think they're hand in hand because yeah. with with wave dashing, it's ground movement. With L canceling, it's taking your aerial attacks from like potential liabilities to like either safe or like 
combo starters. Right. Yeah. So so let me let me explain what I know about L canceling. You guys can tell me where I'm totally wrong. So my understanding is that when you whenever you land from a move, you can cancel the recovery by pressing L, which I guess is like your air dodge, but you do it super low or something so that when you the input the window when you do it, it just removes like several recovery frames and lets you move faster, right? So it makes your combos pop more uh, more combo options and just faster pressure. I did an aerial, and if I don't press it, I feel like this thump when I land, yes, right? Yes, exactly. But if I press the sh L, there's like a bigger thump? H how can I know if I did it right? You game, can like pick a very laggy character. And the easy way to, to, to see it more visually is if you just hold L and you shield afterwards. And you can see the shield come out way slower. Uh, which so, point should I be pressing the L? Like right before I land, right after? Before you land. Yeah, before right you, before it's you last land. Last seven airborne frames. Oh, okay. Last seven. It makes more sense. Okay. I see. I, I see when I did it there. There's actually a, a like third possible state, which is called an auto cancel. Only, it only happens with some aerials. It's like defined per aerial, and basically there's like a sort of window at the end or the start of the animation where you just go, you skip the landing lag, and you just go to your regular four frame or five frame landing animation because there actually is a standard four frame landing lag. So it's right. not like in a fighting game where you land and you can immediately uh, block. If you're just normally landing you touch the ground, those four frames are vulnerable. That's, well, that's, that's the same, actually. You can't block oh, it. And, and if you press the jump button in Street Fighter, you'll get trip, they call it trip guard. So you press a jump button and, and what people will do is they'll walk underneath your jump arc. So like you slightly, you, you kind of do like a really close up jump and someone with a fast walk speed will just juke you and just walk calmly under. And then they'll, they'll on the other side, they'll hit you in that four frame window. Yeah, but if it's you like empty fish. jump, if you empty jump, you can block. But empty jump meaning not you know don't press a button. If you, oh, if yeah, you press no, a button, you get punished. Even if you empty jump in melee, you have the four frames. Got it. Got it. Okay. So that's like the same thing, huh? It's crazy. Similar, it's yeah. Dance. So when people are playing melee, everything they do, they L cancel. Yes. Right. Yeah, except if they can, except if they can auto cancel. Really. So like no matter what, go for go for the L cancel, even yeah, if you're playing sloppy. Go for the L Unless it auto cancels, always go for the L cancel. Even, right. Right. Auto cancel, then, L like, cancel. Do one of the two. I think we're. Uh, you're getting good to maybe start wrapping up the melee session. It's a shit ton to, to digest. Nah, it's a so lot. It's a lot. is there yeah, one sorry. exercise? <laughs> is there one exercise to close out with? For me, I think the best thing you could do is if you could try to do this across the stage, the okay. whole stage. Just fucking you get a better character. And, uh, and what stage? What, what stage? Ooh. FD. 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 The final yeah. destination. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the, that's the hardest one too. Just just try to do this oh, all shit. the way across the stage. <laughs> Let's see. Even I'll be fucking it up. That I'm kind of fucked up the first one. Let's see. Uh, Even if you hear the little autos, it's okay. As long as you can get yeah. the wave dash off and get across the stage. So, so if I do like a shitty wave dash, you hear Atta. That's is that what happens? Yeah, yeah. That if, yeah. If you Atta, you're like three or so frames late on the shield press. Yeah, but if you hear nothing, then like that's that's uh, that's preferred. But yeah, I think just could you do it if you could do uh, it across the stage? That'd be oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely the same game. Woo! I think that was same. it. There you go. Same. I mean, kind of. I got a lot of atas. I think they were all atas, but uh... it's all good. <laughs> you got across. That's all that matters. Yo, in tournament, I've definitely auto out my way to grand finals. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm, I'm super happy I did a couple of wave dashes. I understand ledge dash, wave dash to ledge, uh, L canceling. I get why it's useful, how to do it. I think I got those are like the, the two big yeah. building blocks that well, started yeah, to learn the game. Wave dash and so. L canceling are definitely like the biggest ones you can. Yeah. I don't know if you guys, you want to go to Street Fighter, Brian, or what? I, I think, yeah, I think that's enough for me to, to bite off for one day in Melee. <laughs> um, I'd have to digest that and just put the reps in from here on out. That was pretty sick, pretty cool. I'll BRB, damn, the LUD emotes in the chat. See, that's how I know I'm in a, a smash, smash stream, smash uh, community right now. All right guys, I'll be right back in a second here.